Hi friends, today we will be talking about NSG or Nuclear Supplier Group and what are the constraints that India is currently facing to get a membership into NSG. NSG is a group of countries that seek to prevent nuclear proliferation by controlling the export of materials, equipments and technology to avoid manufacturing of nuclear weapons by countries that intend to do so. So it is an export control regime. Right now, NSG has 48 members including 5 nuclear weapon states. They are China, Russia, France, US and UK. Let us discuss what led to the formation of NSG. In 1970, NPT or Non-Proliferation Treaty was signed among countries that had the capability of producing nuclear weapons. The main aim of NPT was nuclear disarmament and using nuclear technology for peaceful purpose, mainly as a source for clean energy. India refused to sign NPT stating mainly three reasons. Number one, NPT was unjust in defining nuclear weapon states. That is, nuclear weapon states are those which have performed nuclear tests before the year 1967. India was not one among them, so India could never be a nuclear weapon state. Number two, no timeline was mentioned for disarmament, which meant that the nuclear weapon states could hold on to their nuclear weapons for much longer time. Number three, nuclear weapon states had no commitment to disarmament because there was no mention of a timeline. But new countries which had to join NSG had to give up their nuclear weapons. In 1974, India performed its first nuclear test at Pokhran named as Operation Smiling Buddha. And to the awe of the West, especially the nuclear countries, it was deemed that NPT alone was not sufficient to prevent nuclear proliferation and thus NSG was born. Let us see how not being a member of NSG has affected India. In 1998, when India conducted its second nuclear test at Pokhran named Operation Shakti, it was seen as a threat by the Western nuclear powers, especially the US. And many sanctions were imposed on India, even though India voluntarily declared a moratorium on nuclear testing, as well as the doctrine of no first use policy. Let me bring your attention into some of the sanctions that India faced during this time. Tarapur Atomic Power Station was denied fuel from NSG. Cryogenic engine technology that we were supposed to receive from Russia was denied due to the opposition of US in MTCR or Missile Technology Control Regime. Being a power hungry developing nation, India had a huge requirement for nuclear projects. And since we were facing sanctions from US, we reached out to countries like Russia and France, which made US lose a potential multi-billion market that India was. In order to avoid this huge loss, US got into a civil nuclear deal with India in 2008. According to this deal, US constitution was to be amended to give exemption to India in nuclear trade deal. India signed a civil military separation plan and India IAEA safeguard plan. After this, US diplomacy helped India get its NSG clean waiver which allowed us to procure nuclear materials without having a NSG membership. But still, being not a member of NSG, India was denied access into state-of-the-art technology for nuclear fuel enrichment and reprocessing technology. US also helped India getting into other export control regimes such as MTCR, Vasana Agreement and Australia Group. In 2016, India applied for NSG membership and this was followed by application of membership from Pakistan and Namibia. 
while a majority of 48 members of NSG backed India's claim for a membership, many countries, especially China, opposed it. China was reluctant in giving NSG membership to India, stating that India was a non-NPT country. So the question is, why do we need NSG membership? Number one, it will essentially increase India's access into state-of-the-art nuclear technology currently owned by other members of the NSG. And it will help India in achieving the industrial boom that we require to have a sufficient economic growth. Number two, India's INDC under Paris Agreement, we have committed to decrease our fossil fuel dependency and to have 40% of our energy come from clean sources such as nuclear energy. Number three, Pelindaba Treaty, which controls the flow of nuclear materials from Africa to the rest of the world, have prohibited countries like Namibia, which is the fourth largest producer of uranium, to have a trade with India as India is a non-NSG country. Let us discuss what are the factors that legitimize the claim of India to have an NSG membership. France was a founding member of the NSG, but at the time, France was not a signatory of the NPT. India is committed to non-proliferation of nuclear materials, because of which we have voluntarily declared a moratorium on nuclear testing as well as we have ac accepted and adopted the doctrine of no first use policy. India has a clean track record with agencies such as IAEA, that is the International Atomic Energy Agency and all our civilian nuclear facilities are open to IAEA inspections. Have NSG succeeded in its objectives? The answer is clearly no. China is a member of NSG, but as we all know, China has been providing countries like Pakistan and North Korea, which are not NSG members, with nuclear technology and materials by circumnavigating the NSG guidelines. So, in fact, NSG has failed in its purpose. Thank you.